part of his efforts to muster support. I've spoken to, to Len, but I've spoken to how many people. I've spoken recently? to business leaders, I've spoken to party members. I am speaking to everybody to build a strong United campaign. The rules have changed. Since Ed Miliband was elected leader five years ago, the unions no longer have one third of the votes. This time it will be one member, one vote. But for the next three months, new members can join the party and get a vote. There are concerns that large numbers of union supporters may still play a decisive role in choosing the next leader of the Labour Party. More schools in England are to be taken out of local council control and given new leadership as academies and the powers to be outlined in the Queen's speech. The Education Secretary, Nicky Morgan, said schools classed as hosting will face quicker direct intervention by the government. Well, our correspondent Elizabeth Glinker is at the Department for Education. And so, Elizabeth, more academies, how's that likely to go down with head teachers? Well, I don't think it's likely to make uh, her particular, particularly popular with them. Um, but the recent election victory means that Nicky Morgan does now have the opportunity to implement some of the Conservative promises that were made in their manifesto. And many of those will be seen as following on from the reform started under Michael Gove. Of course, he wasn't particularly popular with the teaching unions. So what will this mean? Well, it will mean more self-governed academy schools, more free schools set up by parents and making it easier to sack head teachers. But also this idea of tackling not just failing schools, but also the schools that are seen as coasting. What is a coasting school? Well, there are over 3,000 schools in England and Wales thought to be underperforming or in need of improvement. Those schools could be some or all of, of these ones that have been mentioned, and that could set the Education Secretary on a collision course with both parents and the teaching unions. Elizabeth, thank you very much. A senior Libyan official claims Islamic State militants using the Mediterranean countries to fund their operations and smuggle their own fighters into Europe. The allegations come from Abdul Nasser Haroun, who advises the intelligence services in Libya. He's told the BBC that he had spoken to boat owners in areas of Libya controlled by Islamic State. He said the militants take a 50% cut of their income from the Libya. Emily Buchanan. Heading to Italy from Libya, rescued from their packed and dangerous boat. Here are exhausted families fleeing violence and poverty, eager for a new life. But it's now being claimed among them could be members of Islamic State. In the boat they told me they are not scared at all. I never knew they were scared. They would die, if the water would be high. They are told me no, no scared at all. They are for with the uh, eyesight. Islamic State is battling for influence in Libya. In one port city, it's thought to have a big stake in highly lucrative people's trade. Usually several hundred migrants are crammed into fragile craft like this one, rescued last week. But the Islamic State operation is said to be so well to protect their supporters on board. Roman Dean was a member of Al-Qaeda, now a security consultant. They impose the boat owners certain conditions. One of them is not to overload the boat because they want the boat to reach Italy safe. Why? Because they have their own. security contractor has died in a suicide bombing in Kabul this morning. A car bomber drove towards a convoy of military vehicles belonging to the European Union police mission in Afghanistan before detonating the device, killing at least three people and injuring several others. Here, around 70 people at the Royal Navy training base in Cornwall have been struck down with norovirus. Those affected by the vomiting bug at HMS Rally in Torpoint have been placed in quarantine. 
The Navy is now undertaking a program of intensive cleaning at the base. The Holiday Company Thomas Cook found to have breached its duty of care when two British children were killed by carbon monoxide poisoning has been paid for compensation by the Greek Increasing as well across Northern Ireland, getting in towards northwest England, the north and west of Wales, set by the middle last part of the afternoon. Now, it should stay dry, albeit relatively dry. So, yesterday, the top of the slide will be high around the mid to Celsius up to 17 or 18 Celsius in the southeast. Now, the rain across the northwest corner will really become quite widespread and move its way southwards and eastwards through the course of that, so it's going to look wetter across the board through the night. But it won't be quite as chilly as it was last night with the breeze, the cloud and the rain. Apart from North West Scotland, it's until cooler as that rain clears away. Now until next week, the general trend is for it to be more like March.
Once a cool night's come, send me across Scotland to light it. It's a Into Tuesday, there's our area of horror. Low pressure dominates the sea. Sweeping in northwesterly winds of the cool Atlantic Ocean. It's an all-girl affair next to BBC One shopping till they drop on Bargain Hunt. There are signs everywhere, so I know they're here, but they're so shy. Spring Watch starts Monday the 25th of May on BBC Two and BBC Two HD. Hello, Bruce's. Whatever it is, Woody, I don't want to know. Hello, and you are? Shake, 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 grab the lando. You've got some fun, boy. What are you doing here? I'm on the run, people. He is the best investigator I've ever worked with. Oh, my God! I can see your notes. I am furious! You talk too much. It's a problem. I think it's because I've been talking too much. Shut up, Woody! Have you thought about getting him some professional help? Yes. Cosy! Brand new Sunshine starts 27th of May on the scene. Get your hero and glad we're The of the year is back. Song in his headphones. Oh, come on, UK. That was fun. It's a boat. They made a boat. Sensational, spectacular, fabulously entertaining. And that's just very important. Eurovision Song Contest, Saturday at 8 on BBC One. Homes under the hammer at 5 to 2, including a derelict woodland lodge in Kent. The first on BBC One, so much choice, so little time. Welcome to Shrewsbury. I'm about to let two teams lose on this fair, their task to find three items to make a profit with a walk. Easy. Let's go bargain hunting. Three items to make 
What is about the National Trust? Then? Oh yes, I've just become a volunteer at the National Trust. Isn't that smashing? Now, Denise, you're retired, darling. Yes, I am. What did you used to do? I used to be a carer for people with Alzheimer's. But you're retired, so now what do you get up to? Oh, uh, we've got this cottage, and um, we've been doing that up for 11 years, and then we've got quite a number of animals. So, apart from all this wildlife that you look after, what do you collect? Crystal. I love crystals. Well, there we are. Well, very good luck on the sisters, anyway. Isn't that smashing? Now, nah. Laura, how are you? Good are friends. That's right.